Taran tan tan taran tan 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 Natural Science Class with Teacher Fernando. In this video, we are going to learn about food chains and food webs. Let's go! All the living things need energy to survive. Some organisms are able to create their own food. But other organisms feed on other living things, for example, trees and plants can create their own food with the photosynthesis, but foxes and rabbits feed on other living things. Energy, remember we are talking about energy, goes from one organism to another through the food chains and every food chain always starts with the sun. Let's have a look at the elements of the food chains. First we have producers. Producers make their own food with the photosynthesis using the sunlight. These producers are plants and algae from the protist kingdom. Secondly, we have the consumers. Consumers feed on other living things and we can divide them into primary consumers and secondary consumers. The primary consumers eat producers and they are usually omnivores and herbivores. Then the secondary consumers, they eat primary consumers. They are omnivores and carnivores. The rabbit is an example of primary consumer and the fox is an example of a secondary consumer. And at the end of the process we have the decomposers. They feed on organic dead matter from other living things. And when they feed on that matter they release nutrients to the soil. The decomposers are fungi and bacteria. Well, now that we know about food chains, let's have a look at food webs. There are plenty of food chains in an ecosystem. For example, this food chain that we have here, the plant will take the energy from the sun, then the rabbit eats the plants, so the rabbit takes the energy from the plant and then the fox takes the energy eating the rabbit. That is a simple food chain. So food webs are interconnected food chains. In an ecosystem all the food chains interconnected make the food web. For example here we have a food chain with the starting always with the sun. The rabbit take the food and the energy then the fox eats the rabbit and the eagle eats the fox. We have one food chain there. Now in red we have the this nail that takes energy from the plants, the frog eats the snail and finally the eagle eats the frog. Another food chain starts with the worms that the mouse eats them and then the mouse gets eaten by the fox or the eagle. Also, this little bird eats worms or snails and it gets eaten by the fox 
or the eagle and we could draw more lines because this eagle also eats rabbits or the frog can eat worms and as you can see all these interconnected food chains form a food web and we don't have to forget that in the end all the organic dead matter is the energy that take decomposers to create their food and leave nutrients into the soil so the plants and trees can get their food with the photosynthesis so in summary all living things need energy to survive and the relations in an ecosystem form the food chains in the food chain we have three levels these three levels are producers consumers and decomposers the producers can create their own food and consumers feed on other living things we have primary consumers and secondary consumers and at the end we have the decomposers that feed on the remainings of living things examples of the three levels are for example grass on the producers a rabbit is a primary consumer and a fox is a secondary consumer and the fungi are the decomposers that was all for this video i hope you like it and see you in the next one bye all